Okay, we're going to make a, a balloon powered hovercraft. And uh, we're going to use the template on here. I'm going to cut the template out. We won't need the uh, template for the straw and the fins because they don't have to be exactly that size. Uh, if you'd like to make them that size, that would be good. Uh, they would both come out even so that the craft would look a little bit better. But um, we're starting off um, with a piece of uh, quarter inch thick styrofoam. It's called fan fold, uh, but you don't have to use fan fold if you don't want. We've actually made these things out of uh, cereal boxes too. The disadvantage of a cardboard cereal box though is that it can warp with time, especially if it's in high humidity. <clears throat> One of the um, ways to make these work real well is to have a perfectly flat surface because you're only getting a little bit of airflow out of there. You're not getting a lot of lift. So uh, it's, it's imperative that the surface be, be exactly flat. Now you can use this foam board too. What we're working on here is a piece of foam board. It's about the same as this uh, fan fold foam. Okay, I've cut the template out and uh, I'm going to put it on this uh, block or piece of foam here and uh, I'll mark it and cut it to shape. Now this shape is not real important that it's exactly like this. It's just a nice, a nice looking shape. Um, we're going to be putting a straw through here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of mark this center position just by giving it a good push for now. <coughs> and I'm going to cut out the uh, fan fold foam. Now you can do this either with a, if you use a knife, scissors, um, or a piece of a hacksaw blade. I've actually got one of those here and you can see that <coughs> it's just a broken hacksaw blade and it cuts, per, it cuts the foam pretty nice. It actually does a little bit better job than the, uh, than the scissors. It would probably be good to sand it a little bit just to get rid of any unevenness, especially if you want it to look good. A light bit of sanding on the, on the curved part. Okay, now we've marked the position where the, the hole goes for the balloon, balloon uh, the straw and the balloon. It's our power system. And I want to put it in at an angle, a pretty sharp angle, because the air is going to generate both the lift and the push, so we need to accelerate the air backwards. So I'm going to rotate this. This is just a piece of copper tubing. Uh, you could use a hole punch and then just kind of uh, fit the straw in uh, at, at an angle and, and fill it in with glue. But this is just a little piece of like brass tubing. And I'm just going to rotate it in place here and just cut out a little, a little opening at an angle here. Now it's important to, to um, make sure that nothing is left on the bottom that sticks up above the surface. So be sure you get, get rid of all the little lumps and bumps. Now we're going to make the power system and uh, gonna use a flexible straw. These fairly large diameter straws are good. You don't want a real small diameter because it won't supply enough air to move over all the different surfaces. But you can see that this has a flexible part in it. And uh, the instructions say to cut it about an inch long on each side of the flexible part. And then one of them I'm going to cut at an angle so that that'll, that'll fit in here and it'll be glued in place. Now I want to make sure I don't let it go below the bottom. But before I put it in, I'm going to uh, stretch it, bend it so that this part is still down. Okay, we're going to make this uh, the uh, balloon mount and uh, it's about the size of a dime. So I'm just going to use a dime instead of cutting that out. I'm going to just put the dime. I'm using this piece of fan fold foam that was cut off of the uh, main part of the body here. And instead of marking with a pencil, I'm just going to uh, push down and make a, a mark on it so that I can, well enough so that I can see it. And then I'm going to just cut it out. You can also use a, a styrofoam plate for this, but since we have these pieces handy, uh, we will use them. 
and now we need to put a hole in it again. Now you could use either our little brass tube or you can even use a pencil by taking the eraser out of it. You have a, a sharp edge there also. So we'll put a hole in the center of it and this is to mount the straw. And then we'll put the straw on it. And I'm going to put the straw, I'm going to insert the straw a little bit further down in the end so that I can put some glue around the end here and then I'll pull the uh, foam back over the glue to the edge like that. Now I need to give it a couple of minutes to dry before I try to stretch the balloon on.